This is Earth Divine 360, where you can get your tower readings and your spirituality on. And you can sip, you can relax, you can just unwind, listen to the soothing sound of my voice as I read your cards and calm your mind, soothe your energy. Earth Divine 360, please like, share, subscribe. Free, just chill, catch these vibes with the astrology, the ancestors, the channeling, and the universe. Now, you're on your first class trip into the stars. Let's see what they have for you. As you catch these healing vibes, please don't forget to donate at Earth Divine 360 via Cash App. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. I love you all very much and I appreciate you. Without each and every last one of you, this channel would just not be possible. So thank you deeply. I'm so humble and the most extreme gratitude to you all. Love and positivity, love and positivity, love positivity, prosperity, and abundance is what we come to bring to you. This is what I'm all about. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's up, my beautiful, beautiful fish people? What's going on? Look, it looks like right now, your 10th house and your third house, which is your reputation and perception, and you have your healing, okay? Um, if you've been worried about money, maybe a change is coming in quickly for you. Maybe for some of you, you have to change the way how you're looking at things, the way how you perceive things, the way how you're expressing, how the, the way how you're talking to people, okay? Um, the people that you hang out with, um, you have to change your appearance, okay? How people are seeing you, maybe, maybe people that you associate with. Um, and there's some kind of healing that needs to take place, some type of healing that needs to go on within you guys so that you can better your career and better. This is like a perception how people see you. Sometimes people may see you to be a way that you are not Pisces and they're getting you, they're getting you fucked up. Excuse me. They're getting you real messed up. For some of you, they're getting you messed up. Okay, and, and, and this has to do with the people that you are associating with. So you have to keep, you have to be mindful and keep that in mind. Who am I hanging around? Okay, because who you hang around, it could be affecting your career or like the achievements that are you being noticed or are people overlooking you because they think that you're hanging, hanging out with a certain crowd. But what I am seeing for some of you Pisces is that there is going to be a change. First of all, a mental change going on with you but there's going to be a change with how you were using your resources you're going to change things up because there was something in you that could have been broken and at this time you were going to heal it okay and this is personal development this is overcoming generational trauma and trauma this is forgiveness this is overcoming self-doubt and pain and just going through a cleansing you have to change your circle for some of you is what i'm hearing like you got to change your circle pisces i haven't spoken to my pisces in so long so i hope that this message it just sits well for some of you the ones who need it the most what's going on with pisces pisces for some of you pisces you may be conflicted between like a, like somebody that you're talking to or and working like this is you don't have time for some of you Pisces there's listen some there's a good person that's around Pisces there's a good person but for some of you I know I'm moving fast but for some of you it's like some of you are chasing money 
St some of you are chasing money and stability. You really don't have time for a relationship. It's all about your money right now. Pisces is what I'm seeing for some of you. Some of you, you're, you're finding like it's a fertile time for some of you, but like this is like, money wise like material wise like you're just going after all of these material things in your career and just building yourself up you're not really concerned about love for some of you but for some and it, but for some of you it's like you're conflicted should i pay this person more attention um, because somebody might feel like man pisces isn't even looking at me pisces isn't even paying me no mind or maybe you could feel like somebody's not really recognizing all of the hard work that you're putting in with this King of Pentacles energy. For some of you dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or I can't think of the other one right now, but it will come to me. <laughs> or Virgo. Sorry about that. Yes, definitely double Virgo. What am I saying? Double Virgo. Yes. Some of you, there's a soulmate in front of you. And you are probably not even looking at this person. You're probably not paying this person any mind because for some of you, you're just in a place of healing where you're healing and it's all about your money. It's all about that. It's all about what you do for a living. And that's it. For some of you, Pisces, you're still holding on to an ex lover okay for some of you there's some forgiving and learning that must take place there's someone that you need to forgive this may be yourself or a situation um there's someone that you need to let go for some of you you're not letting go of a, a, a ex and you're not forgiving an ex for what they have done to you or any experiences that you have had with this person but there is someone else out there for some of you who you have a lot of chemistry with and definitely a wedding with this person because this is your soulmate for some of you there's a soulmate out there for you yes believe it or not pisces yes there is a soulmate out there for you but for some of you it's saying let go of control issues you could be just trying trying to control like your money and your finances like keeping yourself afloat because for some of you i feel like you've been in a situation where you couldn't get out of the situation because your money wasn't right so at this time it's like man screw that like i just need to be totally focused about my money that that's it some of you are dealing with the scorpio for some of you you're struggling with something you're trying to be strong about something for some of you like you can't sleep at night thoughts are just like in your mind they're driving you crazy for some of you you are just very heavily depressed you're crying you know People don't understand what you're going through, but that's on the inside. But on the outside, people see like, man, that person is so strong. That that person is so strong. Maybe somebody has passed away. For some of you Pisces with the death card here, maybe you lost someone. For some of you, maybe there is a new cycle that you're in and the cycle isn't easy and you're trying your best to keep yourself like up and make it like everything is okay everything is fine i'm fine but you're really not and you're healing pisces you are going through something you are really healing and there could be somebody who is very well interested in you and pisces you are just like i don't i can't i can't even pay them no attention like i just don't have it in me to do that right now like I said, striving, you're all about your goals right now. You're all about bettering your life. And I can't blame you, Pisces. I get it. You're on the grind. You are grinding. And you just feel empowered to just take care of yourself. Like this is a high energy where I don't know if somebody could just pull you out of that energy and pull you into like, ooh, let's be lovers. Like I, I, don't, I don't know because you're just not there right now at this time. Pisces. Like I said, you're definitely going through a transformation. You're going through, you're entering a new cycle. You're in a new cycle already. For some of you, you may be pregnant. For some of you, you have to, like, you're doing, he there's healing that's going on. You're definitely doing shadow work. You're definitely looking at the dark things in yourself, the things that we are so afraid to acknowledge. 
okay and you're healing those crevices those dark places of yourself to make yourself better and it might be a sacrifice for some of you, you might be sacrificing love you might be sacrificing a, re a relationship excuse me you're sacrificing hanging out you're sacrificing all of these things you're sacrificing this and you have your base chakra okay this is passion this is the the, the root chakra Okay, this is our first chakra. Okay, you're grounding yourself. For some of you Pisces, I feel like you're really getting to know yourself again. You're getting to know yourself again. And you guys are in a, an abundant stage in your life, like when it comes to money. Like you guys might be getting new job offers. You might be getting increases in pay and things like that. For some of you might be sacrificing, like I don't want to, I don't want to be pregnant right now for some of you Pisces you're like no that can't happen for some of you you could have been struggling in the past taking care of someone someone who was sick okay and maybe it was causing a lot of conflict but whatever happened with this sick person you feel sorry you you feel sorry Maybe you feel like you didn't spend enough time with this person. Maybe you were just hanging out and partying with this person, but there was conflicts with the sick person that you were dealing or sh that you were struggling with. This is a couple that was struggling together with something, okay? And you, you're both in bad shape, but the other one is still trying to help the other. Maybe there could be secrets coming out that took a long time a long time for you to say things that you've been holding on to but like i said you're healing so it's expected for these things to come out but because you have to acknowledge pisces there's someone you have the queen of cups energy and then you have the page of cups reverse so there is someone who is trying to offer you something they could be trying to offer you so much and it's like whatever they're giving you it's like i don't want it and this is you pisces totally upside down because you're just not that's not your concern you're not con I feel like for some of you, like e emotions, other people's emotions is not your concern at this time. But for some of you, you're out of touch with yourself because that's not you, Pisces. Pisces. I don't know why I'm hearing like something with the key that I don't know what that means. Something with the key for someone. Maybe somebody is trying to give you the key to their house and you're saying, I don't want it. You don't want it. You don't, <laughs> you'd rather just sleep alone. At this time, it's like, you just want to be by yourself for some of you Pisces. For some of you Pisces, you're dealing with an Aries. Pisces. Like I said, there was just, you were struggling in the past and it was causing a lot of conflict. It was causing a lot of conflict and I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that again. Pisces. But you have love. You have to move forward, Pisces. Whatever happened to you in the past, you got to let it go because you have love begins. Either you're learning to love yourself again, which I highly, highly, highly believe that because you are healing yourself. So you're definitely learning to love yourself again, like I said earlier, but you have positive movement forward. So some of you are gonna be moving, some of you are gonna be changing jobs, like I said, moving on to a better job, um, moving on to a better situation. And 
a new relationship. Like I said, a wedding. For some of you, you got to release this ex that you were holding on to because there is somebody else. Release your ex so that you can have this happiness. Don't be, don't, you, you have to get through this, Pisces. Because there's someone else for you who wants to do all of these things that you have wanted to do in the past, but you were doing it with the wrong person. And you're holding on because you're not forgiving, but you need to move forward. You're moving forward. You have to move forward because the universe is pushing you to move forward. You have to. You can't keep yourself stuck, Pisces. You can't keep yourself stuck. You got to move forward. You got to have fun. You got to open up your heart chakra. Number four and then number three, rejoice and celebration. Have fun. Get out. Hang out. Open up your heart. Love again. Heal your heart by loving again. You're not going to heal your heart by not loving again, Pisces. You need to know that. You, you have to know that. You can't and you also can't control who you love. If you love them, you love them, Pisces. It's time to release those things and it's time to move forward and honestly let all of those things go move forward in a new direction let that old stuff go you can't move forward carrying old bags and i know it's easier said than done earth divine is so hard to let this go i get it but if you don't let it go pisces you will not get the blessings that the universe has for you i want you to get your blessings pisces let this go as hard as it is and move forward ground yourself work on your base chakra your root chakra and work on your heart chakra and open yourself up heal yourself let love in and love again this is earth divine 360 leave a comment like the video and subscribe my pisces i love you all very much be well and take care. Love, positivity, prosperity, and abundance is what we come to bring to you. This is what I'm all about.